Ahoy, this is Josh and Gavin with PC Gamer. We're showing off uh, the graphics settings in Guild Wars 2. And they are good. They are good. So now you can see in the bottom left, uh, we're showing off best performance, balance, best appearance. Those are presets you can choose. Um, we're also going to go through the specific settings right now. So up first, anti-aliasing. You can see a bit of difference. That makes more... Uh, Removes the jagged edges. Yeah, a little, a little bit. I mean, I don't, I never really see jaggies anyway, but uh, I don't pay it that much attention, I guess, in the action. Yeah, the terrain here makes a big difference. You can tell kind of on yeah. the mountains and the grass in the distance. Yeah. Oh, and those the shadows. Shadows. Yeah, you can see the detail of the shadows from the trees that are kind of out of scene behind us, falling down behind the character there. Yeah, and it almost makes it feel like a clouds above you too. How the light transitions as well. Yeah, and the reflections. Um, Coming up right now. These look really cool. Watch the river. You yeah. can see the mountains come in, and then... I love how the tree pops in yeah, in that the one tree right there. And the rock. <laughs> Looks really cool. So some of the, detailed. Yeah, some of these aren't really doing anything right now. Like, depth of field isn't doing much. The high-res character textures don't seem to be in. Um, but most everything is in there. Next, we're going to do auto-detect. You can see my system specs on the screen. This is what it thought was best for my system um, and kind of what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Although it ran pretty well, I think, on, on all settings, even though it recommends a little bit lower for you, um, it seemed to run fine. All right, everyone, here we see Josh's character about to run through the forest section in the Norn area, and we're going to transition from performance mode to best appearance mode. And then I think we do it back again. Yeah, as we're running, it'll start to shift back so you can see the difference kind of on the fly. Yeah, those there textures goes, in the ground really, really show it. Yeah. And that's the lowest settings, best performance. All right, and here we're going to show off kind of max, as many people as we could find kind of in one area doing spell effects, trying to show off kind of what that what that looks like with so many people. Um, so we're starting on best appearance here. So you can see the people are visible in the distance. You can see some spell effects going. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be more. You can see the cloud. I mean, the stuff looks really nice. Yeah. The ice falling down. There's a lot of small particle effects going on. Now we're on balance. You can see not as many particle effects in the spells coming down. Um, the texture's a little kind of uh, let down, but it's really not It's not that big of a it's difference. It's not a big difference between balanced and best appearance, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, balanced is very balanced. <laughs> yeah. um, we're going to drop it down to best performance in just a second. And that's when I'll notice the big hit, the, particularly in the amount of fog and spell effects, I think is where it's most noticeable. Yeah, you can see a lot of the spell effects kind of vanished there. Um, like the bubble right there, the purple one, just doesn't look as, as classy as it does um, in the high setting. <laughs> but still, I mean, it, it's a great, it still shows a lot of stuff. You see all the information you need, um, and, it'll, and it, you can still participate in these group fights on a lower end machine. <laughs> All right, here in the indoor setting, pay particular attention to that wall. You're going to see some shadows really pop, and the texture is really noticeable when you're changing. Most everything else stays pretty plain, but that wall really shows off the difference between settings. All right, here we're showing a long-distance setting. You want to pay particular attention to kind of the valley down there and the rocks on the close. You can see the castle doesn't change very much as you're changing the settings, but you can see a lot of detail in the distance that you're losing when you're changing the settings back and forth. Here's one of the cooler-looking spell effects in the game on low settings. And here it is on high settings. Notice the increase in fog, reflecting light, and lightning tendrils. All right, guys, so there's our video showing off all the different graphic settings. Hopefully uh, it gave you an idea of what the game looks like. Um, obviously, graphics are going to be changing a lot during the beta, um, yeah, and hopefully, hopefully it gives you an idea of what it will run on your PC, though. Yeah, it's definitely a really beautiful game. And if you want to see more videos like this, check out uh, PCGamer.com later in the week.